Hi there, Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be my favorite thrifted vintage coats. If you're new to my channel and you like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? So a few weeks ago, I did a video of my favorite winter coats, and today it's going to be the vintage coats that I thrifted. But I didn't want to make them one entire video because what, I have so many coats that I'm like, I'm gonna break it up into two. And I kind of had to figure out what categories each of them went into. So that one, although there were some like fancier kind of coats, they weren't vintage like I wouldn't classify them as vintage they might have looked a little bit vintage like the two faux fur coats that I showed you they were like the leopard print ones and they're super cute I don't think they're like true vintage whereas the coats I'm going to show you today I want to say they're true vintage well they look really really vintage and if they're not they're fooling me the first coat is probably the coat that got me into buying more vintage coats like the yellow coat in my other coat video got me really into thrifting my jackets and and the obsession has not gone away. This coat that I'm gonna show you was like the trigger that got me <laughs> to buying a bunch of vintage coats. I don't wear that often because they're kind of fancy, but also like we can't go anywhere right now. So there's no point of wearing these fancy coats, but anywho, I bought these coats in a different time. If the coat I'm talking about is this one here. I absolutely love this coat. This coat is just, it's so beautiful. Like it is so beautiful. I bought this at Goodwill for I think $10. I think at the time all their coats were like 10 to 15 bucks. I think this one was $10. This is a true vintage item. You can tell for many different reasons. One, it does have like these old school buttons that I adore. I put this little brooch on it and I have not taken it off. So I'm just leaving it there because it's super cute. I love this houndstooth detailing. It's so gorgeous. This is the perfect fall coat. And I don't know if it shows up on screen. I don't know if it shows up more brown, but this coat does have hints of orange and green in it. it has a uh, nice sandwich pockets. I believe all vintage coats have great sandwich pockets. All these coats are really heavy and my arms are going to get tired by the end of this video. It does actually have the original tag still on it and it is from Harris Tweed, hand woven, 100% Scottish wool. And then along here it says dyed, spun, hand woven, and finished in the outer Hebrides of Scotland. I don't know if I'm saying Hebrides right. Probably not. But anywho, it has like the serial number still on on it and this is like a true vintage like I don't know how many times I have to say it's true vintage but it is true vintage this definitely has to be from like the 50s or 60s just like the way the print is and everything like that this tag is actually like hand stitched if you can see that I am missing one button here it fell off these buttons are more worn down than the buttons up here here, I think like the more like lower it gets, the more like they're like, you know, rubbing on people's purses, like the arm, right? Wish your arm. Whereas this one here is like in pristine condition because nothing touches it. I do have the missing button. It's somewhere, it fell off, I picked it up. So I have it somewhere and I have to restitch it. But again, it's just on the arm. So it's not like a huge deal. And just letting you know, all these coats are long coats. Whenever I think of vintage coats, I always think of the really long ones where like the maxi and the midi type of style. All of the ones I'm gonna show you are exactly like that. The next coat I'm gonna show you I bought last year and I think I purchased this like right at the end of winter season so I didn't get any use out of it the tag is still on it and I haven't worn it yet it's this coat here it was eight dollars from Goodwill. It is a, a Jessica brand. I really like the Jessica brand. Everything always fits me so nicely. Leopard print coat that I showed you was a Jessica brand. So it does have the faux fur trim here and what I really like about it is that it does have buttons so it can detach. Although in my previous video I always say that I hate it when they, there's buttons the hoods go missing. Like because people will unbutton the hood and not put it back and then you know donate it and the hood's not with it and I kind of get a little aggravated. Because it is a fur trim I probably would have bought this coat without the fur trim. I would have been a little bit peeved. It does have these really nice buttons here. Again, this is a very long coat and it does have a lot of pocket space. Really do like the detailing here and it's just really, really cute and it's a little oversized on me, which I do like. And then it does have like this nice lining on the inside. I really like this lining just because sometimes these jackets get really hot. If you have like this really thick cotton or wool kind of liner, it gets too hot whereas this like you're not going to be in a sauna while wearing this it's super long I do have one that's very similar to this it does not have this but it was like a little too like it was it wasn't even too small it just fit me tighter than my other coats I don't know if anyone else has this pet peeve but 
I like driving and you know when you drive your hands are at 10 and 2 and they're just kind of like this. If I have to wear a coat that's really tight in this area, it is super uncomfortable and I hate it. I hate it so much and that also goes for any tight sweaters or any tight shirts or t-shirts or anything. Anything that I can't like do this in, I don't want to buy it and I don't buy it. And I ended up buying this one coat thinking it was going to be okay and it wasn't. But anyways, like this was really cute so I'm glad I found a replacement for that coat which I do need to donate and like get it out of my house. These coats are so heavy. They're so heavy. The next coat I bought, I bought in the strangest place to find a vintage winter coat and that was Florida. I bought this last year and I did do a haul of like all the Florida stuff that I bought. I ended up finding this coat. This, this one here. I haven't worn it yet. I know, I know. It's just so beautiful and it's so soft. There's probably a bunch of cat hair on it. I apologize. It has like the fur cuffs and the faux fur. I don't know if it's faux fur or not, to be honest. It's really soft, but there's no tags telling me what is what. It's really long and it has like this huge slit in the back that is supposed to be there. And there are a little bit of rips though that I do need to fix that I said I needed to fix last year. And I haven't done that yet. So just a really simple one. I didn't have a simple black long vintage coat. I have the faux fur one that I showed in my last video but it has like the hood and it has the leopard print and I wanted something a little more simple in case I have to go anywhere fancy which isn't really going to happen anytime soon but I have the jacket to go with it that one day. The faux fur is more of a like a darker brown and the coat is black and it has like these little tiny buttons. I don't know these buttons don't really suit the coat so I don't know if someone had replaced them or whatnot. The brand is Steve by Searly. Yeah, Steve by Searly. That's that's what I'm gonna go with. It does look vintage. It definitely has like that vintage feel. Unfortunately, the tag that tells you what it's made out of and where it was is like destroyed. But on the side, I did notice it does say cashmere blend. So I wanna say that this is like a cashmere blended faux fur. That's what I'm gonna go with. And the pockets are a good size. All right, the next coat I'm gonna show you, I actually thrifted this one at the Hamilton antique mall and if you've been there it has I think three or four floors of just a bunch of different vendors I don't know what the hours are right now because everything's closed but I think it was like open like all week what I really like about that place is you can go in there and just like peruse you know you just look around none of the vendors are actually there it's just all their things and they all have tags so you find something that you like and you pick it up and you just carry it with you and before you leave you go down to the counter and the cashier just looks up the number and logs it in for them so when they come in they just get paid. I, I do really like that because there's not like a ton of people walking around and you kind of like get nervous sometimes if you're looking at things. You're like, oh, there's a crowd of people. Like, I'm just going to keep going. This happens to me when I ever go to the flea market in St. Catharines, which is only open on, I believe, Sunday. And there's just so many people crowding around and I'm just like, I need to get out of here. This is like claustrophobic. Whereas the one in Hamilton, I just like that one better. I've only been once and it was like last year right before Christmas. And when I mean last year right before Christmas, I mean 2019 right before Christmas. Christmas right before everything happened. That was the first and last time I was there just because Christmas happened. I went on vacation. I came back pandemic. So I haven't really been able to go back there. Okay, where was I going with this? The jacket. The jacket that I found there was this one right here. Look how gorgeous this is. This is definitely true vintage. The brand is Dallard's. Dallard's. The Allards, the Allards. But well, here's the brand. If you know the brand and how to pronounce it, please let me know because I am the worst with pronouncing uh, brand names. Like, I am the worst. I used to work at Marshalls and we would get in the most random brands ever, but we would always get the same random brands. Tell someone I work with, oh, you know this brand. And then I would say it out loud and I'm like, that's probably not how you pronounce it. I've probably been thinking it in my head this whole entire time wrong. This is made in Canada. Again, another sign of it being vintage. And it's just so beautiful. I love the little collar and I love the details on it. I don't know if you can see like the little lines there. It's super, super cute. This is like a really nice purple lining on the inside and it matches like these purple buttons. And it was only $10. Like when I saw it and I saw the price, I'm like, is this right? Like, did someone really want to sell this for $10? Because this was in a real thrift store. I think they probably would be trying to sell this for $30, $40. And I found it for $10, which... 
honestly is just fantastic and I think it's just super super cute and I have actually worn this a few times again the great sandwich pockets that's like one of the things that I absolutely love about finding nice vintage coats is that they actually have the pockets that will fit your hand nothing is worse than buying a jacket and it's cold out and you have to walk somewhere and you don't have mittens and you're trying to stuff your hands in your pocket but the pocket is like not designed for hands it just drives me nuts we are on to the very last coat now again these are not all my coats I have so many more coats when I tell you I have a lot of coats I have a lot of coats in Canada when it gets cold out you can't really wear cute outfits because your coat is gonna hide it so my idea is instead of buying cute winter clothes you buy cute winter coats so then that way you look stylish regardless of what you're wearing underneath that coat Anyway, the last coat I'm gonna show you was again from Goodwill I remember one year for some reason the Goodwill import Colbrin had an abundance of just amazing amazing vintage coats it's this coat right here the brand is Simpsons I don't know that brand I don't know where it comes from but it has these gorgeous gorgeous buttons so it has like the detail on the back which just kind of goes around to the front so it's kind of cute it looks like it's a tie but it's not great pockets the inside has that fabulous it's so heavy it has again this beautiful lining it is more of a wine color and it is a hundred percent pure wool so on the inside the only thing that has like information is this symbol right here and it is a hundred percent wool and it is made in Canada another clue to know if it's vintage or not is that it will have like a little union stamp on it but it is just so darling and I've only worn this once oh dear it is so heavy that it's kind of breaking the hanger as I'm holding it this is a very very heavy coat this coat might not look that heavy but this is the heaviest coat out of all the coats that I've showed you even in my last video this is the heaviest one just because it's hundred percent wool and wool is like a very dense material I mean it keeps you warm I guess that's the point there are a few little cigarette burns <laughs> on the sleeves that I noticed so whoever owned this was definitely a smoker they're not that noticeable they're just like little ones here and there like when you're really looking at it like oh okay those are cigarette burns other than that it's in pristine condition I do really like this coat like, this is like my favorite coat and I don't wear it enough I definitely should start wearing these coats probably next winter when hopefully things will be open and I'll be able to wear cute things outside again I'll start wearing these coats again because right now I'm just like driving in my car so there's no reason to dress in fancy coats. All right, and those are all my favorite vintage coats. Again, I have way more coats than this, but these are the ones that I deem to be the most vintage out of all my coats. In the comments below, let me know what coat you like the best. For me, it's definitely a tie between the first one and the last one, because the first one was the first vintage coat I bought, and then of course the last one that I showed you, oh, that one is just so fancy. That one is so fancy. If I had to go somewhere like fancy fancy and I had to wear a fancy dress, that wine color coat is definitely the one I wear. If you like my video, give it a good old-fashioned like, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is the same fancy dinosaur tea party, where I'm posting projects I'm working on, you know, my thrifted items that I own. Nothing new thrifted because I can't go thrifting at the moment because everything's closed for a while. And then, of course, my cats. Yes. I think that's it, so y'all have a good one. Bye.